among psychologists, developmental psychologists, the whole business about understanding that another individual has different information from you and that they will behave strategically in a way reflecting that. And that's classic developmental psychology. When do kids first start to show theory of mind developmentally? There's all sorts of tests where you can say, so the little girl comes home and where is she going to look for her toy in this room or that room? And when does a kid first distinguish between what they know about where the toy is because they were just told something happened while the kid was off at preschool? And what the little kid knows, when is the first time they realize that somebody else is a separate entity and could have separate knowledge? And typically, theory of mind starts appearing between like ages three and five. Both of my kids got in on their third birthdays, so that was very good. And what you see is this is really impressive and in lots of realms this is viewed as a defining feature of humans. But it turns out that theory of mind is not unique to us. All sorts of studies. One style here. You take two chimps from a social group with their ranks known and you put them on either side of this sort of enclosure and they're both sort of kept off at the sides there and in the middle there is a screen. And at one point, you've got the low-ranking chimp here. Human comes out, puts a banana down just on this side of the screen. Half the time, the screen is transparent. Half the time, the screen is solid. In other words, half the time, that high-ranking guy can see that a banana was just put there. Half the time, he can't. Then you let both chimps come out, and you ask, does the subordinate guy try to get the banana? And you see that chimps have a whole theory of mind algorithm. The low-ranking guy, what he does is, if the big guy, scary guy, was able to see the banana being put there, little guy doesn't even bother trying to get it because he's not going to have a chance. If the solid screen was up, he knows the other guy doesn't know it's there, he goes and grabs the banana. Or suppose the high-ranking scary guy over there has seen the banana put there, but then he's taken out and a different high-ranking scary guy is put in, low-ranking guy goes for the banana. He understands that guy knows there's a banana there, this guy doesn't. He understands that another chimp has different thoughts and can act strategically to take advantage of that. That's totally wild. This completely blue sort of developmental theory of mind human people out of the water. So we're not so unique with that. Where are we unique?